18-4 for a season. Earlier in the season, in the modern day tournament, Arlau beat Oakville by about 12 points. And uh, the Rockets are looking for a revenge tonight. Have the introduction of the lineup.
defense. Coming out pretty tight. Medicking with the basketball. Looking, Rick the foul. Pass over to Freddie King, down to Wakey, he takes a little 10 footer and misses. Hemingos gets a rebound and puts it in for two. Overload's on the scoreboard now. Pala bringing the basketball up the court. Smoking, puts in. Hemminghouse out on the wing, moving the ball, looking, and he travels. Ball goes over to Carlisle. Carlisle will inbound the ball on the sideline. Smoking inbound, Smoking coming up the court with the basketball. Or Johnson, everybody dropping in on Kunt, and they're Volkin. That better takes 15 for the score! Looking down to Wakey, he's looking in over the Dingworth. Freddy King, looking, looking, moving the ball a little bit into Hemminghouse. Hemminghouse caught the traveling again! Scores two to two. Broken bring the ball up the court. Or uh, Johnson takes about a 20 footer and misses. We get the rebound. Broken pulls the ball down. Coming up the court a little quickly. Or to Wakey. Back to Freddie King. The Hemminghouse. Over to Dingworth. He takes about a 15 footer in it. It's off. Rebound by Ledbetter. A foul on Dingwood. Carlisle will inbound the ball inside. Not too good a call there. Inbound to Johnson and Boken bringing the ball up the court. And on the right side, looks in for Cook and Franklin steals the basketball. And a pass there by Boken. Looking. Moves it down to Hemminghouse, down on the baseline. He's looking in over to Freddie King, over to Wakey on the side. Back to Freddie King. In the Hemminghouse, over to Wakey. Dingworth, Freddie King, flick the fell. We got a man to man, but Kuntz is playing nobody. He's just standing there. Knocked out of bounds by Carla. Four kids are playing a man to man, and Kuntz is just blocking up the middle there. Ball will go out on the side to Oakville. Lichterfeld with a basketball. Out to Hemminghouse, inbound it back to Lichterfeld to Freddie King. Freddie King with the ball, getting pressured over to Dingworth. Down to Wakey. Back to Freddie King. He's up for a 25 footer and it's good! And we have a foul on somebody. Must be on Carlisle. And this is on number 25 for Carlisle. Johnson. Overball gets the basketball out on the side. About a 20 footer there by Freddie King. Victor Feld inbounding the basketball to Freddie King. Breaks to the basket and into Wakey over to Dingworth. Well on the man to man defense. The Kuntz is just playing his own in the paint. Looking out to Freddie King down to Victor Feld in the heading house. He turns in, misses, and Kuntz gets the rebound. And we have a foul on Wakey on the rebound. And I will take the ball out of bounds under our basket. Inbound the ball is Volkin. Coming up the basket, up the court with the basketball. Volkinville's in a man-to-man defense. Ball over to Ledbetter in the court. He makes a nice move under the basket and passes it out to the point. And we have a foul on. Pushing. It is on Bullock. A push and foul on the rebound. Oakville will inbound the basketball. Freddie King coming up the court for the basketball. Coming up the court. Carlisle, the man to man defense. Out to Hemminghouse on the side. Over to Dingworth. Over to Wakey. Move the ball. Back into Dingworth. Takes about a 15 footer and misses. 
Rebound, Lickenfeld. Knocked out of bounds. Going to be a foul on Poots. We have a foul on Phil Kuntz, his first for Kalau. Jeff Lichtenfeld will go to the line now to shoot two free throws. Takes the first one and misses it, rolls in and around and out. <laughs> the second one now. And he hits the second one. Overwell up five to two now. Boken has the basketball for Kalau. Kalau's playing with out there, point guard thinking who has the flu, I believe. Over to Johnson. Johnson, uh, Boken, over to Ledbetter. He's looking in for Kuntz. Down to Boken and a pass over to Johnson. And he gets in to score. Five to four. He was up to cover the ball down to Wakey. And Wakey throws it out of bounds. A turnover. Settle down. Call out basketball to center line. Boken bringing the ball up to court. Down to that better, back to Boken in the court. High pass, he turns. And a foul on Hemingham. And Hemminghouse's first foul. Kutz will go to the line to shoot two. Shooting foul. has a pretty good touch from the foul line. Second one, up. And rolls around and bounces in. 65 in favor of Kalaj. English with the basketball. Looking in over to Lichterfeld. Down to Wakey. Out to Lichterfeld. Wakey. Coach is just standing behind him. Out to Freddie King. Back down to Lichterfeld in the corner. We're looking. Very delivered ball game by Oakville. The Wakey in the corner. Looking in. Down to Freddie King. Looking in. Over to Wakey. Back out to Freddie King. Just looking. Slow ball game. Down to Wakey in the corner. Very delivered, Oakville. Just moving the ball and looking. Over to Victor Fell, clean across court by him and out. Out to Dingwood on top, looking, looking, slow, on the wakey. Dingwood with the basketball, over to Freddie King, and shoots from the corner, out of 15 for good. Open ball up now, seven to six. Boken bringing the ball up for Kalau. You gotta hit that outside jump shot if we're gonna win this ball game. We're not gonna get much inside with Phil Kunz. He's over in the middle. In the middle of the Kunz. And they call a very, very cheap foul again. Very, very. Doug, Doug Dingworth. That's his second foul. Jerry Kirk, uh, just reports One uh, thing Coach Weathers has done all years. Old Mill in his own, uh, or Mr. Old Man to Man. Down the ball, on am trying to batten around and call out the cover. Order to with the basket, though. Cutter with the ball. Couldn't shoot to miss it. We get the rebound. The fell off with the rebound. Coming up the court with the ball is Lick the foul over to Freddie King. Looking in. On to Dingworth, on to Wakey. Out to Freddie King, over to Hemminghouse. Takes a 15 footer and scores! On the side! Oakville on top, 9 to 6. Kirtner with the basketball over to Johnson. Oh, foul on Dingworth. Ed Jacobs coming into the ball game now to replace him. Uh, yeah, but we talked to him before the game. 
Takes it. Going to take that 15 footer and he scores! And rolls around and drops through. Curtin with the basketball for Kalau. Bago in the ball game for Kalau also. Victor Bell deflects the ball out of bounds. Back to six, Oakville. Kalau with the basketball under their basket. We have Lock U in the ball game. Inbounds to Johnson. In the lead banner, out to Kuntz. Takes about a 10 footer and scores! Oh, we're getting in foul trouble early. Foul on. That's a little slim in the head. That's what we need to do. We got one on. Look at foul like this. Foul on Wakey, his second foul. That better goes the line now with a one and one. Rebound, and he else gets another rebound. We get a foul on Johnson. Why Johnson can get the hacking foul on him again? Now and let out 
Hi, three people out, moving the basketball, looking in, over the wakey, back to Lichterfeld. Down the wakey, we're looking, 15 seconds left on the clock. In the Lichterfeld, goes around through the middle. Nine, eight, seven, five. Down to Freddie King, he goes up and misses. And Jacobs gets the rebound and sticks it in. Jacobs, the smallest guy on the floor, got that rebound and scored. At the end of the first quarter, Oakville 14, Carlisle 8. Got an excellent chance of taking Carlisle out tonight. We continue to play good defense. The rebound and hit that jump shot. We have to get down from about 15 feet. A good quarter for Oakville. We got the momentum going in our favor. Inbound the ball over to Boken. All right, Boken bringing the ball up the court. Looking in over to Black U. Redding deflects it right back to Black U. Down the lead better. Boken with the basketball. High pass to Kuntz. He's out there on the side with it. And he gets a foul on Freddie King. It's up. a 70% free throw shooter. And he scored. He's got 14 to 9 now in favor of Oakville. Gunch is awful big, 6 foot 9. Second free throw now by Gunch. He shoots and scores again. 14 to 10 now in favor of Oakville. Jacob will bring it all up the court. Man-to-man -man defense. Straight man-to-man. -man. Over to Wakey. Over to Jacobs. Looking. Jacobs down to Lichterfeld in the corner. Looking in. Over to Hemminghouse. Lichterfeld. Back to Jacobs. On the top. Lichterfeld posts up down low. And misses a little short breaker over Phil Cook. Kalau with the rebound. Both are bringing the ball. Down the block to you. Everybody's sagging it around Phil Kuntz. Red better out on top. He misses about a 15 footer. In the Kuntz. He's up. And we're going to have a walking violation on Kuntz. Good travel with the basketball. Oakville has the ball out on the side now. Fredekin. Coming up the court with the basketball is Ryan Fredekin, a six foot senior guard. Over to Jacobs in the Hemminghouse. He goes up and Lichterfeld gets the rebound. Hemminghouse in there. And it's blocked by Kuntz fighting for the ball. And we step out of bounds on the end. Our foul. We have a foul. Going to be on Carlisle. It's on Broken. So we're going to shoot the basketball. Hemminghouse on the foul line. With the basketball, we missed a good opportunity there to score in a real short shot underneath. Just didn't get it down. Hemingow shooting, and he scores. Doug is really shooting free throws well here since the Benton tournament. He's been real good on the foul line, and we need that out of Doug to get these free throws down. Second one now, and he misses off. Coach picks the ball up, Jacobs ties him up, a jump ball! Look at ball out on the side. Victor 
out inbound in the basketball. They line up to run that out of bounds play to maybe get that layup off this you know, In the Freddie King, bringing the ball up the court. Everybody's posting up down low. Jeff Flicky Fell and Doug Hemming out. Winky with the basketball. In the lick of And off of his foot out of bounds. But all basketball, we have a turnover there. Boken bringing the ball up the court. Boken dribbling, Jacob's on him. Johnson with the basketball. On Doug Henry. His second foul. I guess he was pushing the in this case. Punch goes to the foul line. I don't think they're going to let him play very physical tonight. Everything's a foul. They must want to get this thing under control just right off the bat. Punch on the line. One and one now. Shoot. Punch to get a second one now. 15 11 in favor of Oakville. Punch with the basketball. Second foul shot. He shoots and scores again. Looking in now. Freddie King with it. Picked the swivel up in the lick to Felt. Clearing the side for him. Off on the side over to Jacob. Freddie King with the ball. Looking in. In the Hemming House. He turns around and misses that short one again. And picks up his third foul. Now Oakville's got a problem. The biggest guy with three fouls on. Less than a quarter and a half on in his basketball game. Coach goes to the line. One and one. Coach on the line. The basketball, he scores. Five in a row for him. 15 to 13. Oh, got a foul problem. We've got two players with three, two, three fouls on. Maybe it's in Heming House. Winky with two. So we've committed nine fouls. The Lyles committed five. Doesn't look like we're going to get to play good aggressive defense. Being in foul trouble, it's very hard to play good defense when you've got three fouls on you. in the corner, down the wakey, Hemming House, we're looking, over to Jacobs, Allah's really getting out here in the man to man now, down the lick to fell on the side, looking in over to Jacobs, over to Hemming House, Freddie King, Jacobs, real delivered, very slow, moves the basketball, over to lick to fell in the Hemming House, and he scores a hard banker and it doesn't go down. Looks is really intimidating him in there. Johnson with the basketball in the bulldog. Puts over the top. He's over and he's gonna get a foul. So Bill Cook over the top. Over the back. In with it back in the ball game for Jacob. Uh, 
Came back in for Hemminghouse. Hemminghouse out of the ball game with three fouls. Alright. Alright, we all set now on the foul line. Jacob's in there now. Steve Wakey shooting one one. And he gets it down for the first one. Ogleville 16, Carlisle 14, with five minutes to go in the second quarter. Steve Wakey getting the second one and one. And he gets that one down. Boken bringing the ball up the court for Carlisle. Down the lead runner on the corner. Boken, Johnson, and the Kunz. And we tie him up. Thank you for a good job there. Tying him up. Carlisle basketball out of bounds for the possession call. Looks like we'll have basketball that time. We'll have to keep it up. All right, Carlisle ball out of bounds. Inbounding the ball, it's Bullock, the Kunz, it's a high pass, the Kunz scores! Right team with the basketball. They're spreading out the court the way it looks. Wakey with the ball out here, down to Lichtenfeld on the corner. Lichtenfeld being guarded by Phil Kunz. Over to Lichtenfeld, I believe we're just going to hold the basketball. We can, and look! Over to Freddy King, Jacob, up to Wakey on the top, down to Lichterfeld. They're just moving the ball around, going to let some of that time run off the clock. Over to Wakey, Dingworth, Wakey, or uh, Jacobs. With the ball, over to Wakey, over to Freddy King. Back out to Wakey, Jacobs. Very slow this game down now. Move the basketball. Jacob dribbling the ball over to Freddie King. Palau getting out a little tighter now on defense. Over to Lichterfeld. Over to Wakey. Lichterfeld with the basketball. Wakey with the basketball now. Just moving the basketball with a 17 to 16. A one point lead for Oakville. Wakey with the basketball. Lichterfeld now. Right better's on him a little tight there. And then Wakey. Wakey's being guarded by Kunz and he's off him about 10 feet. Wakey with the basketball over to Freddie King. Wakey just looking in to move it. They're going to play for the last shot, I believe. The reason for this is that Oklahoma's in foul trouble. Got to protect some of our people with foul trouble. We'd like to go in with a three point lead at halftime if we could. Wakey with the basketball. On half court, we've run about two minutes off the clock already. Wakey with the ball. Dribble. Over to Dingworth. Wakey. Over to Dingworth. Wakey. Wakey with the basketball. Wakey the belt. Wakey. Rolling the ball. We've run two and a half minutes off that clock now. Jacobs with the ball, Wakey with the basketball, out by the center line. Just dribbling over to Jacobs. Back to Wakey. Nick the felt. Wakey. Everybody's just kind of standing down low. The Lions are coming out and getting too, getting too much pressure. They go to number 53 now. That means get after them, I guess, because they came out. The Lions really getting up and getting after them. Back to the great guy. Over to Freddie King. In the 1-3-1 zone now. 1-3-1 one, one, half court zone. 1-3-1. One, one. Over to Wakey. Jacobs. Down to Wakey in the baseline. In the Lichterfeld. Over to Freddie King. Allows in the 1-3-1. And they're getting after the ball. And kick it out of bounds by Bullock. Two new players in the game we have. Black Hugh. And Kurtner in the ball game. Lichterfeld inbounding the basketball. And the Jacobs being guarded by Kurtner. Kurtner. Dribble. Out to Freddie King. He's stalled about three and a half minutes off the clock now. He might want to run it down and get that last shot. Wakey dribbling the basketball. Bill Kunz guarding him about 10 feet away. 
Just dribbling the ball. Now he's got out on him. We'll block you. Come out and got him. Coming after him a little bit more. Over to Lichterfeld. Back over to Freddie King. And a 1-2-2 now. Half court defense. Trying to put a little pressure on the basketball. Let's try to get it. Lichterfeld with the ball. Move the ball. Over to Jacobs. Jacobs with the ball. Back out to Lichterfeld. We have 49 seconds left on the clock. We started this with a little over five minutes to go. We've already stalled over four minutes. We held the basketball. Over to Lichterfeld. Back to Freddie King. Back to Freddie King holding the ball. 30 seconds on the clock. Back to Lichterfeld. Freddie King with the basketball. Now we have play number 40. Get in the man to man. We're in the man to man now. Allow in the man to man. Ricky with the basketball. 16 seconds, 15. We're looking. 10, 12. We're picking up things. Movement, movement. Five minutes to all for Oakville. Lick the foul with a one on one and five seconds left in the half. He shoots and scores. That makes Oakville 18, Corral 16. Lick the belt with the second end of a one on one. Up and a miss. Corral with the ball, Jefferson with the basketball. And we can break the ball and try and go out. Oakville 18 at half. into that type of ball game being in foul trouble like we are. Most of these fouls came on against Phil Kunch trying to stop him from scoring inside. Well, Oakville 18 at halftime. Allow 16. Statistically, get our statistics up here, I hope. He's figuring, Waylon Jasper's doing that for us and he's figuring that up right now. A little bit on the regional at modern day that is going to start in about three weeks. February 17, 18, 20, and 21st. We have four real good ball clubs in this regional. It may be the strongest regional in the Class A in the state of Illinois this year. We have Carlisle, who is seated rated number two in the state in Class A poll with a 19 and one record. They have a 17 game win streak on hand. Also, we have modern day. This tournament, seeded number two, with a 17 and four record. Carla is beating this ball club. We have Oakville in this regional with an 18 and four record, seeded number three. We will be in Carla's bracket. Woodlawn, 19 and two record, seeded number four. And they have an excellent ball club. They may be the sleeper in this tournament. We have a kid named Steve Owens, who might be the second. Illinois as far as basketball ability for big people. Well, this figures to be an excellent regional. The winner of this regional will go on to the Nashville sectional and play at Nashville the next week on the 25th, 26th, and 28th. They will play the winner of the Pingdeville and probably be Pingdeville who's in that sectional, or regional rather. And DuCoin most likely will come out of their regional. And probably Waterloo Gabot, who will come out of their regional. Waterloo Gabot gave Paul out last night, came in at six points with a 56 for a six win. So the sectional looks like it could be an excellent sectional also. Alright, we have the statistics now by Waylon Jasper. Uh, Brian Fedeking is two for three for the field. One free throw, has a total of five points. Doug Hemminghouse, 
has uh, two for eight from the field, one for two from the free throw line for five points. Steve Wakey has two for two from the free throw line for two points. Tad Jacobs has one field goal and rebound he put back in right before the end of the first quarter for two points. Jeff Lichtenfeld has two free throws, four free throws, no field goals for four points. So, Palau, we have Vulcan in that score. Johnson with two, Ledbetter with two, Bill Cooks with 12. Eight for eight from the foul line. He has only had two field goals, but he's had eight free throws out of eight to keep Carlisle in the ball game. Percentage-wise, is this the percentage one? Or you didn't take the shoot? All right, okay. Yeah, there's total percentage. Okay, that's fine. But there has not been much offense in this ball game. It's been holding the basketball. Very delivered play by Oakville. Uh, we got to stay close if we're going to stay in the ball game and keep it close and have a chance at beating Carlisle tonight. Since we're in foul trouble, uh, Hemminghaus with three, Doug Dingworth with three. Uh, we've got to change our game plan a little bit. But uh, Carlisle does not look real sharp tonight, I'll say that. Uh, if we were shooting a decent, we could have a, a little more of a lead than what we do. But. Uh, being in foul trouble just changed your whole basketball game around. So, Carlisle, the number two rated team in the state of Illinois in Class A, is led by Phil Kuntz, six foot nine center, about 245 pounds, who's already signed to go to University of Illinois on a basketball scholarship, and he'll play up there, there's no doubt about it. He's going to play a lot of basketball for Illinois. Illinois thinks they have one of their best freshman crop coming in they've had since this present senior bunch that is going out now since they recruited them. Uh, so they got some good guards, uh, the kid from Alton. Uh, they got another kid from Carbondale, about 6'6", that plays guard, Bardot, and uh, Phil Kuntz in the middle. So uh, they're looking at another big player about in the 6'8", range 6'9". So we're going to see some of these kids from Southern Illinois, I believe, playing at the University of Illinois in the next few years. Uh, fan point, this ball game is, was not too much to watch because of the slow down delivery play of Oakville. And even Carlisle is working the ball around. Their guards are looking in for Phil Kuntz. They want to give it in to him, uh, try to get him posted up down low where he can hit that short jump shot that he can score down inside. So... The halftime score again, 18 for Oakville, 16 for Kalau. Oakville in foul trouble. Uh, most of them came off on Phil Kuntz, uh, trying to stop him from getting the basketball or trying to stop him after he had the basketball. And uh, so this is how we got in foul trouble. Uh, take a little break, I believe. We'll let her go.
Over to Johnson. Everybody sloughing in around Phil Kuntz in the center. Over to Johnson. Palau is not going to shoot that basketball from out. They appear not to be the real good shooters. Finky is a good shooter, and he's sick tonight with the flu. So we got Boken with the ball. They're not even looking to shoot the basketball from about 15 feet out. In the Kuntz. So we have a foul on Wakey. Steve Wakey, that'll be a third foul. Trying to knock the basketball down and keep Phil Kuntz from getting it. Third foul. But I will inbound the basketball now on this end. So we, now we have three people with three fouls on. Inbound the ball to Kuntz. And we get a foul on Wakey. who bumped into Phil Kuntz for his fourth foul. Boy, talk about things going against you. Two fouls on Wakey within about five seconds. Now we are got some real serious foul problems. All right, we got Boken with the basketball. Not even looking to shoot. Over to Johnson with the ball on the side. Everybody sloughed in around Johnson. And we come down with the rebound now. Jeff Lichtenfeld pulls it off of the board. We kick it up the court to Lick Dingworth. It goes over to Freddie King. Freddie King with the ball out to Dingworth, moving the ball over to Hemminghouse on the side. Looking in, real delivered to Dingworth. Over to Wake, Freddie King. Movement over to Dingworth. And he knocks it out of bounds. Full out, deflecting the ball out of bounds for the Oakville's basketball. Victor Bell, the inbound in the basketball. Off on the side. Everybody looks over to in the Hemming House, over to Dingworth. Real slow ball game here tonight. Everybody's trying to play defense. Look the foul with the ball. And he is fouled by Bullock. On a shot. Be a two shot foul for Jeff Lichterfeld. This is what we're going to have to try to do. Post Jeff up down low and let him take somebody inside. As long as it's not Kunz guarding him, he'll be able to do that. Bullock has two fouls. Kunz has two for Kalau and Johnson has two. Lichterfeld up and he hits that free throw. Oakerville 19, Kalau 16. Lichterfeld's going to get the second one now of a two shot foul. No, I don't think one technical is going to be intended. It's good. Running for 16 for Kalau. Boken bringing the ball up for Kalau. Everybody sloughed in, in inside the rectangle down there playing defense on, mostly on Phil Kunz. We're letting them have a shot from the foul line and they're passing the thing up. Boken with the basketball. We've got five people standing in around Phil Kunz at that point in the ball game. Off on the side. Palau's not, guards are not even looking to shoot. There's a shot by Vulcan. Kurt's got a rebound. And there is a walk in violation call. Walk and they'll call out. Oakville with the basketball. Freddie King bringing it up to court. Emmy House on the side. Freddie King. Wakey. And it's deflected by Bullock. And he gets the basketball back out of bounds off of Carlisle. Oakville will inbound the ball in the corner down here. Lick the ball, putting the ball back into play. We're looking, we're looking in the heading house. He goes up against Cook and gets it blocked. Shot blocked by Phil Cook. Too much bigger than Doug Hemminghouse, Cook says. All right. Bullock takes about a 15-footer and misses, and we have the third foul on Phil Kuntz of Carlisle going over Hemminghouse's back. Carlisle takes a timeout. Now Kuntz has three fouls. He can't be as aggressive as he has been throughout the ball game. So Kuntz, three fouls, and Overville has two kids with two fouls on. Hemminghouse, Stingworth, and Lakey has four fouls. So Oakville with a 20 to 16 lead with five minutes and 21 seconds left in the third quarter. And looks like things may be picking up for Oakville. Very delivered ball game by both sides. Palau's guards are not even looking to take a shot when they're about 
12 feet away, right at the free throw line, they're passing up shots. They have not scored from out yet, Carlisle has everything that's come in from inside. Kuntz has 14 out of 20 points. The rest have all been inside. They have not scored a shot further than 10 or 12 feet probably than this ball game so far. All right, Oakville with the basketball. Over to Hemminghouse. They're looking. Flick the foul. It's intercepted by Red Denner Farah, but he walks when he came down. And the ball will go back to Oakville. We tried that high pass, that role play, and the high pass. Into Hemminghouse. Over to Dingworth. He takes about a 15 footer, and it's four! 22 for Oakville, 16 for Kala. Colton bringing the ball up for Kala. This game's going to go right down to the wire, I believe. Everybody's sloughed in around Kuntz. We are playing man to man, but it sure looks like we're playing zone inside that rectangle. Johnson with the basketball. Walk! But he didn't call it. Hemingos pulls the rebound down. Well, Johnson had a couple shots in tight, but he didn't get it down. Oakville with the ball now. Let the fell off on the side. Movement on the ball. Jacobs with the ball. They're looking, looking, looking. Over to Freddie King. In the Heming House. He's going to go up against Carlisle. Jacobs brings it out of there. Nice rebound, Ted. All right, he's looking. He's looking in. Inward with the ball. Over to Heming House. Over to Freddie King. He takes the 18 footer and misses. Kunch with the rebound. He's too big. Well, all three on one fast break, and Kurtz leads in and scores! That was a heck of a job by Kurtz, building that outlet lane there and got their fast break down. Jacobs with the basketball over Henning House. Kurtz has 16 out of 22 points now. Dingworth with the ball, Ricky with the ball, Freddie King with the basketball. Look in, Jacob. Pick the foul with the basketball in the Henning House. He's going to try another one, and he doesn't get it down. You got to kick it off, Doug. We get the interception. Bad pass by Colau, and Freddie King comes up with the basketball. Down to Dingworth in the corner. He pulls it up. Look in. Jacob with the ball. Over to Henning House. Out to Jacobs. Jacobs slides and uh, pivots. And a foul on Johnson. Oh. Yeah, two new players in the ball game. Freddie King, Freddie King with the ball, out to Jacobs, over to Hemminghouse, out on the side, back to Jacobs, we're looking, back to Lichterfeld, he shoots and scores! Right. We got Kurtner with the ball, coming up the side, block heel Kurtner for Carlisle, Ledbetter shoots and scores from about 15 feet out, 24 to 20. I licked the foul with the basketball, Freddie King. Well, I was getting out a little more aggressive now on defense. Jacobs with the basketball. Out here, Hemming House. Hemming House with the ball. Freddie King. Freddie King with the basketball. Jacobs. Licked the foul out on the side with it. King with one about a 15 footer, he misses it. Thank you with the ball, Kurtz inside, he is fouled by Jacobs. Kurtz was fouled by Tad Jacobs that time. Wakey coming in for Hemming House to keep him from getting that fourth foul going into the third quarter. 24 to 20, Oakville. 
With one minute and 48 seconds left on the clock, and Kuntz is on the foul line. He hits another free throw that makes nine for nine for Phil Kuntz for the ball game. That gives him about six, six, 16, 17 points. He makes another one, 10 for 10. Dingwood with the basketball. Pat Jacobs with the ball. Puts his way out here on top. Pat Jacobs. I think we're going to stall for the last shot of the quarter with a minute and a half on the clock. Everybody spread out now. Look at the ball. Looking with the basketball. And Pat Jacobs. Over to Wakey, over to Lichterfeld. They're just holding the ball, looking. Over to Ted. A deep section. Get it back. Lichterfeld with the ball. Jake Lichterfeld. Bingworth with the ball. Tad Jacobs with the ball. Dribbles. Over to Lichterfeld. Over to Jacobs. Over to Wakey, over to Lichterfeld. Down to Dingworth. Hold the ball. Down to Jacobs. 45 seconds left in the quarter. Out here to Wakey, over to Lichterfeld. Lichterfeld dribbles the ball. Back to Wakey, over to Freddie King. Cut on a 1 3 1 half court defense. Trying to get that basketball. Freddie King with the ball. 25 seconds left on the clock. Down the corner to Wakey. He holds the ball, out to Jacobs, 20 seconds, out to Lichterfeld, out to Jacobs, 14, out to Dingworth, out to Jacobs, 10, 9, 8, 10, Wakey scores! 3, 2, 1, Oakville 26, Kalau 22, at the end of the third quarter. I see Wakey hitting that 15 foot baseline jump shot. What a defensive ball game. Both teams are very patient, trying not to make that mistake and hit that high percentage shot. Overall 26, Palau 22 at the end of three quarters. Phil Kuntz has made 10 out of 10 free throws for Kalau. And about three field goals, I would say he has about 18 out of their 26 points. Offensively, we got to hit that jump shot, uh, high percentage shot. We need to get down. This game's going to go right down the wire, I believe. All right, fourth quarter coming up. Oakville basketball. On the possession clock. Right, Jeff Lichterfeld inbounding the basketball for Oakville in the Freddie King. Starting the fourth quarter now. Dingworth with the basketball. Out on top, and with Freddie King down to Lichterfeld. We're looking over to Hemminghouse out on top. Down to Dingworth on top. Wakey on the side. He got the ball deflected away, but Wakey recovered it. Kalau's getting very aggressive now. Dingworth with the ball. He shoots. Misses. Can't get that shot down tonight. Had that good jump shot. He can't get her down. Down in the corner to block you. He shoots and misses. Freddie King gets the rebound. Carlisle well, guards just haven't got one down tonight yet. Everything's come from four out. In tight, rather. Nothing from four out. Dingwood with the ball over to Victor Felt. Over to Freddie King. Down to Wakey. He posted up Jeff Lowe. He wheels and deals. He kicks off the dub. Back to Freddie King. Over to Dingwood. Back to Victor Felt. We're very patient, work, move the ball. In the heading out, he's going to go over Clunt, and he gets it deflected. He's going to have to kick it.
it off. They're not going to score over Phil Coons. Come on. All right, over to Black Q. Over to Black Q on the foul line with it. Over to Johnson. Over to Black Q. He shoots and misses. And they get the rebound and put it back in. A block here. 26 for Oakville, 24 for Kalaha. I guess everybody's screaming off field. Kunz. Medicating with the basketball. Wakey gets fouled by Johnson. And Johnson's fourth foul. They're not in the one to one yet. Vulcan back in the ball game for Blackview. Kirtner in the ball game. Bad guard. Kalaha's taking out one of the big people. Led better and Kuntz. The two smaller people in the lineup now. Freddie King with the ball. The Dingworth is looking in. And it's deflected out of bounds. The ball over those ball. Victorfeld inbounding the ball. Everybody's breaking. Freddie King with the ball, back down to Lichterfeld. Rock, he gets the ball back, Wakey with a good rebound. That ball was blocked by Phil Kunz. Freddie King with the ball. Victorfeld with the ball out on top. We're looking, We're trying to push that down low. Dingworth with the ball. Movement, Freddie King with the basketball, Wakey with the ball, Freddie King, Dingwood with the ball, looking in, over to Wakey, Wakey with the ball, dribbling around the perimeter, picks it up, Dingwood with the ball, Freddie King, he got a little shaky there on that ball, in the lake to felt. Phil Kuntz gets his fourth foul, knocks down Jeff Lichterfeld, fourth foul. That's Kuntz's fourth foul, Lichterfeld will go to the free throw line to shoot, two shots. Foul calls time out. Five minutes to go, Oakville 26, foul out 24. I believe we have a technical foul the way it looks. I guess it's on their bench. Uh, Jeff Lichtenfeld going to go to the foul line. Lichterfeld will be shooting his two-shot foul now. And that's a shooting foul. Two shots. And it's good. 27 to 24. Oakville. He gets the second one now. And he scores again. Now we got two more coming. Two technical foul shots. Hold on, call out bench. This could be a six-point play if we get these two down and then score after we inbound the basketball. We'd love to see that. Pedigan shoots and makes it. Oakville 29. Ah, 24. Pedigan with the second one and it's good. Oakville gets the basketball now with a six-point lead. Five minutes and two seconds left on the clock. Let's get this one down, guys. Let's go. Let's get it down. We run that out of bounds play. Dingwood with the basketball. Coming up. Over to Lichterfeld. Starting by Ledbetter. Hemminghouse. Freddie King. Rick Dingwood with the ball. Down to Wakey. Wakey being guarded over to Lichterfeld. Out to Freddie King. Kalaha's chasing the basketball now. Kutz is coming out on Hemminghouse. Hemminghouse made a bad pass. 
and hope to get a layup. But they got big Phil Kuntz back. Doug Dingworth with the basketball. They're looking, dribbling. They're gonna have to come out and get the ball now. Carla is. They're gonna come out and get it, I believe, and gamble on fouling maybe that we don't hit that free throw. Wakey with the basketball. Jacobs with the ball. He got fouled by Black Hill. Rocky committed a foul to push Wakey, but I doubt it's going to be an attention one. It's going to be a one and one most likely. Jacobs, you got to get him home, Ted. Right, Oakville has been shooting free throws real well. Uh, in fact, the last half a dozen ball games. Yeah, Jacobs missed. Banks went in. I thought it was a miss. Hit glass and banked in. We'll take that one, Ted. Relax a little bit. All right. Second one. He's going to hit nothing but net this time. And he does. 32 to 26, Oakville. Five, three minutes and 50 seconds to go in the ball game. Boken bringing the ball up over to Johnson. We're just left in around Kutz. Let your guard shut. Off of Kutz's hand and out of bounds to Oakville. Kalawi in a full court. Pressure defense, getting after the basketball. Now block and foul on Johnson. We're gonna get the shooting in the one and one. Jacobs got foul. Try Johnson, that'll be his fifth foul. He's fouled out of the ball game. This is a very slow, slow down ball game. Oakville's gonna try to put the thing on ice by just being very delivered. We we'll probably take a layup if we can get it, but uh, we're going to gamble on hitting our free throws. Ryan Fedekin goes to the line to shoot a one and one. Ryan's probably about an 85% free throw shooter for a year for Oakville. He probably has a team we're averaging about in the 75% probably has a team from the foul line. Fedekin with the ball and he scores. Good job, Ryan. 33 to 26. Favor of Oakland. Freddie King with the second one, a part of the one and one. And he scores! 34 for Oakland, 26 for Kalal. They're really in a back in around Kuntz. They're all back in. We're going to give him a shot, and the kid misses. Freddie King gets the rebound. Comes off the board with it. Thank you with the ball. Down. England with the ball. The basketball. Over to Jacobs. Moving it. Down to the foul in the corner. Over to Jacobs. We're going to spread the court. England with the ball. Over to Wakey. Wakey with the ball. The 
Yeah, Dingworth, three minutes to go in the ball game. He gets fouled. Dingworth is fouled by Bob and reach around foul. Try to slap the ball away. Shooters are on the foul line. We try to get the ones we want. Doug is probably shooting about 84% also from the foul line. King, eight point lead for Oakville over to Jacob. Jacob's holding the ball. Down to Wakey in the left of Over to Wakey. Left the fell on the side. Wakey puts it out after Wakey. That's a good place for him to be, way out there. Over to Dingworth. Being guarded by Block U. Block U on Dingworth, dribbling the ball. Over to Lick the Fell. And he gets Wakey. He gets knocked down by Oakland, and it's a foul, the foul's Wakey. Wakey will go to the foul line now. He's on the foul line now. Wakey was knocked down at the center line by Vulcan, who tried to get that basketball. They get a one-on-one -on -one out of the thing. Wakey's going to make both of them. Come on, Steve. And he does. Back up to nine points. Nine point lead by Oak for Oakville with two minutes and 23 seconds left to go in the ball game. Wakey gets the second one and he misses it. Palau gets the rebound. Come down with the ball. All right, broken with the ball down the block queue in the coach who travels, but it isn't called. And we're going to have a foul on Tad Jacobs. Coach will go to the foul line. To shoot two, he's hit 10 for 10 for tonight. He has not missed a foul shot tonight in this ball game. That's sure gonna help him in college if he can shoot those free throws. All right, a two shot foul for Prince. And he missed the whole work. He missed the whole backboard. He gets the second one now. And he missed that one. We got the rebound, and we get fouled. Craig Ledbetter commits a foul on the rebound. Jeff Flickerfeld will go down to the foul line on the other end to shoot a one-on-one. Kunz missed both of them. That's Ledbetter's first foul in the ball game. Two minutes and 12 seconds to go in the ball game. Oakville 37. No, Don Dinkworth is on the foul line. Thought it was Jeff Lichtenfeld. Doug Dingworth has a chance to make two. And he scores! Oakville 38, and out of 28, a 10 point lead with two minutes and 12 seconds in this game. Doug gets his second one. He's on the foul line. He scored. It's in there. 
Rocky Ball with the basketball. Broken with the ball. And it's a shot and a miss. Off of Doug Dingler's hand on the rebound and out of bounds. The shot just barely caught the rim and ricocheted off. Collage basketball under their goal. Inbounding it. Off on the side to block go and he scores a 15 footer. Freddie King with the basketball. Jeff Lichtenfeld with the basketball. Frankie with the basketball. Over to Freddie King. Down to Doug Dingler. Over to Freddie King. Over to Wakey. Wakey with the ball. The Freddie King. Get up there. Over to Dingworth. Over to Dingworth giving the ball to Jacobs. And a foul. Kurtner. Kurtner committed a foul. A reach around foul. Oakville with a nine point lead with a minute and 36 seconds left on the clock. You gotta make free throws, fellas. Chad Jacobs goes to the foul line. We're gonna make them foul us and hit those free throws. Up and a miss. Chad misses. Come out with the basketball. Bringing it down quickly. We're on playing defense. And in the Ledbetter, who scores. 39 to 32. Oakville with the basketball. Jeff Lichtenfeld with the ball. Being pressured. Over to Freddie King. Freddie King in the corner. Handling the ball over to Jeff Lichtenfeld. Down to Freddie King. Freddie King with the ball. Dad Jacobs dribbling. And we get a foul. I believe it's going to be on Phil Come. He made a foul. He killed the clock. And it is. Country's fifth foul in the ball game. Bill Clark has fouled out in this ball game. Chad Jacobs goes to the foul line with a chance to increase our lead. We have a 39 to 32 lead with one minute and seven seconds left on the clock. A lot of tape. A lot of tape. Something goes in the middle. Stepping right up there. Chad Jacobs is coming to this ball game and done a real good job. He hits the second one. Ten point lead for Oakville. One minute and five seconds left to go in the ball game. Oakville and defensively, and we get a foul on Wakey. That will be Wakey's fifth foul in the ball game. Got a foul out. Great right left better, and we'll get a one on one. Doug Hemminghouse back in the game to replace Wakey. 
Craig Ledbetter on the foul line with a one-on-one. -on -one. He shoots and hits it. All right. Ogleville now with an eight-point lead, 41 to 33. This thing came on plug. Craig Ledbetter shoots and scores. Ogleville with a seven-point lead. Freddie King with the basketball. Carlisle's after the ball. We give it to Jeff Lichtenfeld. And we get a foul. Bachel commits a foul. And Jeff Lichtenfeld will go on the foul line with a one and one with 56 seconds left on the clock. Jeff Lichtenfeld is an excellent free throw shooter. Over 80% this year. And he's going to hit both of these. It's crawled in. Front of the rim and barely spun in there. A little bit harder, Jeff. Ogleville 42, Kalau 36. We have an eight point lead. He hits another one. Atta boy. We got a nine point lead. Smoking with the basketball in the corner. A long jumper. We miss. Jeff picked the foul, pulls the rebound down over to Doug Dingworth with the ball. Over to Freddie King. Over to Lick the foul. And Doug Dingworth, and he is fouled by Boken. Doug Dingworth will go to the foul line for a one-on-one to try to increase his lead a little bit more. 39 seconds on the clock, and it looks like Oakville is going to defeat the number two rated Class A team in the state of Illinois. Doug Dingworth shoots and scores. Getting the second part of the one on one. Shoot, shoots, and scores! 11 point lead for Oakville with 39 seconds to go on the clock. Oakville's in his own now, 2 1 2. Big Carlisle shoot the basketball. Doug Dingworth with a rebound. Up to Jacobs, up to Andy House. In the, and he all scores! for Oakville, 34 for Palau, with 27 seconds left on the clock, we have a 13 point lead. Doug Hemminghouse on the line to try to make it a three point play and he does! Oakville up by 14! Palau with the basketball now, over to Kuttner, he walks, Ogilvy will get the basketball back. With 23 seconds left to go on the clock, we have a 14-point lead. We're going to inbound the basketball now. Carlisle sending in a couple substitutes. We're going to make it. Inbound the ball to Freddie King, over to Dingworth. Well, after the basketball, this is after the ball, back to Hemminghouse. All right, it's a good exercise for the rest of the city. Now, here's Jacobs, they're just holding the ball. Let the clock run out. There's a bad pass by Jacobs that's intercepted. And Oakville defeats the Class A number two team in the state of Illinois. Basketball over the middle. Very slow, deliberate. 48 to 34.
didn't do it.